when you feel like you can't handle the task at hand and you ask yourself, girl, who's your daddy? Because I remember when Jerry said that to me and I, I got a good look at him, I felt secure, I felt taken care of, not because of me, but because of who I belong to. And what if when you got a good look at your God, remembering who he is and that you belong to him. Listen, I think until the Lord uh, stops me from taking platforms and ministering to women, I will say this until the day that I die, reminding myself as I do when I am quietly alone and I look myself in the mirror and say, girl, who's your daddy? You know what I tell myself? I tell myself, he is the first and the last, the beginning and the end. He's the keeper of creation and the creator of all. He's the architect of the universe and the manager of all time. He always was, always is, always will be unmoved, unchanged, undefeated, and never undone. He was bruised but brought healing. He was pierced but eased pain. He was persecuted but brought freedom. He was dead and brings life. He is risen to bring power and he reigns to bring peace. The world can't understand him. Armies can't defeat him. Schools can't explain him. And leaders, they can't ignore him. Herod couldn't kill him. Nero couldn't crush him. The new age cannot replace him. And Oprah cannot explain him away. She can't. She can't do it. You remind yourself that he is light, he is love, he is longevity, and he is the Lord. He is goodness and kindness and faithfulness, and he is God. He is holy and righteous and powerful and pure. His ways are right, his word eternal, his will unchanging, and his mind is on us. He's our savior, our guide, our peace, our joy, our comfort, our Lord, and he rules our lives. I serve him because his bond is love, his yoke is easy, his burden is light, and his goal for us is abundant life. I follow him because he's the wisdom of the wise, the power of the powerful, the ancient of days, the ruler of rulers, the leader of all leaders. His goal is a relationship with me. He'll never leave you, never forsake you, never mislead you, never forget you, never overlook you, and never cancel your appointment in his appointment book. Never. When you fall, he'll lift you up. When you fail, he'll forgive you. When you're weak, he's strong. When you're lost, he's your way. When you're afraid, he's your courage. When you stumble, he will steady you. When you're hurt, he's going to heal you. When he's broken, when you're broken, he will mend you. When you're blind, he will lead you. When you're hungry, he will feed you. When you face trials, he's with you. When I face persecution, he shields me. When I face problems, he will comfort me. When I face loss, he will provide for me. And when we face death, he will carry us all home to meet him. He is everything for everybody, everywhere, every time, and in every way. He is your God, and that, sisters, is who you belong to.